welcome to the whole number place value lesson number one. It's our first video lesson. If you would please grab your notebooks, you're going to want to label this appropriately. It's VL for video lesson, WPV1, and put in today's date as well. So, what are we going to learn today? Well, the questions you're going to be able to answer by the end of this lesson are, what is place value? Why do we say we have a base 10 system? What is standard form? And how is it written in numbers up to 1 million? And then finally, what is word form? So if you're in fourth grade, this really should be review to you. So we should be able to go through this at a fairly good clip. Let's get started. We're going to be adding four vocabulary words to your notebook. Give me a second to explain them to you, and then I'm going to want you to stop or pause this video long enough to jot these words into your notebook. Let's talk about these four words. The first word is place. A place is where a digit is in a number. Is it in the tens place, the hundreds place, and so on? Value means what a number is worth based on its place. In other words, a six in the hundreds place has a value of 600. A four in the thousandth place has a value of 4,000. Next, what is standard form? Well, it's numbers written regularly, kind of like five, four, comma, one, three, two. That's standard form for 54,132. Finally, what's word form? Well, that's kind of a duh. They're numbers written as words, like 23, or even numbers that are spoken. So if you will pause for a second and jot that down, we'll be ready to move on. You already know that numerals stand for different quantities. The numeral 6 is a symbol that stands for six items somewhere in time and space. These are two different representations in numeral, which should bring to mind the picture of six objects. So you're looking at a numeral representation and a picture representation. We're going to talk about different representations of numbers all through the school year. You also know that where numerals are within a larger numeral makes a difference, quite a lot of difference. On the left, we're looking at four units, which is very different from 400. 400 is 100 times bigger, and 4,000 is greater yet. But take a look at the flip side of that. 0, 4 is the same as 0, 0, 4 because it has no tens and has no hundreds. And even when I add the third 0 to 0, 0, 0, 4, I'm still looking at four units. No thousands, no hundreds, no tens, but still four units. So it's important to realize that placing zeros in front of a number when we're dealing with whole numbers doesn't change its value at all. You've probably heard teachers mention a base 10 system, that we have a base 10 system, but what does that actually mean? Well, it means two really important things. First of all, it means that we regroup at 10. In other words, you can never have more than 9 in one place. Once I try to fit more than 9 in one place, I have to move up to the left one place. Secondly, the value of each place is 10 times bigger than the place to the right of it. 100 is 10 times bigger than 10. 10 is 10 times bigger than 1, and so on. Are there other systems? Well, yeah. Computer code uses a binary system. That means it works in base 2. As base 2, it regroups at 2. That's why you're only looking at 1s and zeros. They actually count 1, 10. Just thought you'd find that interesting. We'll be working with base 10 because that's our number system from now on. So what is standard form? Well, we've already talked about that. Standard form is how we normally write numbers. 132 is standard form for 132. Why is it called standard? Well, because everyone got together who uses numbers and decided to make a system that would work for everybody so everything would be standardized. How does that system work? Well, the first thing I'll tell you is that it's divided into periods. Ones and units are interchangeable. They mean the same thing. But from ones and units, we go to thousands, to millions, to billions, on into infinity. The next thing I want you to do in just a second is to pause this video and take a really close look at this table. I want you to just jot into your notebook what you notice. Do you see patterns? Do you see things running in common? What do you notice? It'll be the first thing we talk about tomorrow when we get started with math. So let's mention again word form. Remember, word form is exactly that. 
it's numbers written or spoken. 100 comma 32 is word form for 132. So what if I wanted to take numbers, big numbers, and change them to word form? How could I do that? Well, like I said, the system is divided into periods. And reading numbers to word form, even pretty big ones, is actually pretty simple. The first thing we want to ask is, which periods are we using? Well, if I take a look at right here, here is the right hand, which is going to be my smallest period. These are ones in units. These are thousands, and this is millions. The second thing I want to do is use the commas. They are my friend. They keep things organized. I never have to deal with more than a three-digit number, which should be really easy for you. This time we're going to start at the left, and we're going to read within the commas and name the period. Here I have 1,345,894. Pretty simple, huh? So let's give you a little bit of practice reading these larger numbers. We'll start small, because I know you can handle those. I'll read the red ones so you'll have a sample, and then you get to read the blue ones. And I'll give you a second to figure out what it is before I tell you what the number is. The first number you see in red is 712. Now, you read the blue number. It's 539. The second one shouldn't be too hard for you either. You're looking at 1,324. You try the blue one. It's 3,621. Let's bump it up a digit. This time we're looking at a five digit number. Remember, look at the periods. We're using ones and we're using thousands. Keep it in the commas and you'll be fine. The next red number is 32. 32 what? 32,000. That's right. It's 32,478. Now you try the blue one. It's 29,018. So let's bump it up yet another notch. Let's work with a six digit number. It's pretty big, but I think we'll be okay. Remember, the first thing to do is to ask yourself, is to ask yourself what periods are we using? And right here, I can see that we are using right there, units, and yep, this is still, oops, sorry about that, thousands. It's all I'm dealing with. So now that I've figured out what periods I'm using, we'll start from the left and use the commas. 567 is 567. 567 what? 567 thousands. And then what? 890. 890 units? Well, we don't say that, we just say 890. So to read this, it's 567,890. Now you give the blue one a try. It's 970,432. So what if I wanted to go in the other direction? What if I wanted to change from word form to number form? It's not really all that different. We're still going to deal with commas between periods. And we're going to look for signal words, which will make things a whole lot easier. Let's take a look at the first one. Now let's take a look at the first one. 463 should be wicked easy for you. I don't see any signal words telling me that it's thousands or millions or billions. So that means it's just plain old units. 463 is simply 463. But now let's look at the second one, 6,054. And in fact, I do see a signal word right here. This tells me it's a period. Sure enough, thousands period. So I need to give myself six thousands and 54. Whoops. That can be problematic. Sometimes people want to just put 5, 4, so you get 6, 5, 4, but that'll look crazy. 
we know there's supposed to be three digits here, and it doesn't mention any hundreds, so there aren't any. This is 6,054. So taking a look at number three, I'm looking at another signal word here. I'm seeing thousand. How many thousands? 11,000. So that's pretty important. 11,000 and 245 units is going to look like 11,000. There's my comma to separate the periods again. 245. So let's go for the six digit number. When I look for signal words, here it is again, thousand. How many thousand? 304,000. Well, that's easy. I know how to write 304. It looks like this. And since I'm going to deal with a different period now, let me put my comma. So there's 304,519 units. 500. There we go. That's how you write a six-digit number. So, what have we learned today? Well, you should now be able to answer these questions. What is place value? Why do we say we have a base 10 system? What is standard form? How is it written in numbers up to 1 million? And what is word form? If you have questions about any of these questions, you want to jot them into your notebook right now so that we can discuss them tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon.